Good morning, good morning. Started off the day pretty rough today. I had a 5.45 a.m. shift that I totally slept through. So that's not good. But I'm still here trying to talk about productivity. On today's topic, I want to talk about how I stay productive and motivated throughout college. I am a graduating senior in mechanical engineering, and I have a lot on my plate. I have this YouTube channel. I have my social life. I have my own side hustle. I cut hair on campus. In addition to that, I work on campus, and also I do school. So I'd say staying motivated and productive in college is huge, and it could take you a long way. I don't necessarily have like cool words or books that I've read to share with you guys. What I have to share is more so towards the practical side of things. And with being where I am right now, a senior in engineering, I, th I think I turned out pretty okay. The first thing that I want to suggest is always, always attend your classes, which is what we're going to go do right now. I just got out of the lab and attending classes is really the base of everything, I guess. It shows that you care for your stuff and you want to excel in these things. And on top of that, teachers usually spill out information that they wouldn't have online. like. They would just tell it in class, but they won't publish it online. That way, you can stay on top of your due dates. And speaking on due dates, I usually use Google Calendar to stay on top of my stuff. Let me show you guys how I usually do it. So anytime I hear anything like homework's due Friday or homework's due Wednesday or whatever, I immediately pull up my Google Calendar and just put it in. And as you can see, it really helped out a lot. Anything from haircut appointments to classes to projects that are due or events, everything's in Google Calendar. And that way I could have an overview of how my day is actually like instead of just going at it without knowing anything. And with this, you know every single detail and you won't miss any homework assignments at all. Guaranteed, for sure. Google Calendar is goaded and everybody should get it in my opinion. And it's free, so. But yeah, right now my schedule calls for lunch and a LinkedIn photo shoot. So let's go do that. Never ever meant to be so sour, baby. Running out of steam every day, be the same. Living like this, testing all my patience. Need a bit of you every time I drink. Like a love, like a love. <laughs> Currently studying the library and I thought of a genius life hack that could for sure be of help to everyone else. For myself and I could say for everyone else, the primary distraction is our phones and how I deal with this every time is I always put my phone where it's unseen and unreachable. It has to be an inconvenience if you were to go for it. So even if it's just a chair across you that you couldn't see it anymore, it definitely would be a huge help for you to be productive on your study sessions. But yeah, I promise it works all the time. Thank you later. I promise. Try it out. Down my spine, wanna give you 
I finished on my day and I have one last tip to give you guys on how to stay productive and motivated is to plan your day out beforehand. Every night I would just sit down, take like five to ten minutes to look through Google Calendar, see what's due, what's, what's coming up, and plan my day out with that. And that's what I go based off of throughout my day tomorrow. This is an example of what I should have done today. Wake up at 5, which totally did not work. Uh, work at 4, 5.45 to 7.30. Uh, read supplement for lab and all that stuff. So this is just a general scheme of how it is. I would look through Google Calendar, check out what's going on. If I want to work out, what time do I want to wake up? How long is it going to take me to shower? What time do I want to get a class? Those kind of things, you know? And if you pay attention to the small details, it will definitely benefit you in the long run. Uh, and like huge projects coming up when you're in the workforce or just about anything. So I would definitely suggest you guys to plan your day out beforehand. It will definitely help. And last but not least, also give yourself some love. If you did a great job tonight or last semester, you got like a 4.0 or something, buy yourself something. And uh, that keeps me personally to stay motivated and maybe it works for you too. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys on how to stay productive and motivated. I hope it was of help, especially with midterms coming up. And yeah, good luck, and I will see you guys in the next one. Just kidding. Bye. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but I get away. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call because I'm gonna be on break. How does this thing work? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but that. Oh. Okay. I guess the negative out. I guess the negative output doesn't really matter for for this because the resistor doesn't really have a negative and positive side. Okay. Channel four. One volt. Yeah. Should have brought my lab goggles for this. <laughs> you ready, bro? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Hold up, hold up.